Dance Jam Productions. Hi, we're back, Jason Barnes, uh, www.westcoastswingzone.com. Kendra's there. I have no dot com. Uh, Facebook, um, Pro of the Week. Vote for your favorite. Yes. Um, connection is not a lead. Uh, we did a connections class, and what we wanted to focus on was constantly being leveraged but not pulling too much. And um, if you keep a frame or a locked arm, you're going to stay away from your partner. Okay. But if you contract your arm behind your back, you can stay connected through your center and uh, get kind of close to your partner. Suck in your stomach when you want to get really close. Okay. And which pattern do we get close to each other every single one? Yeah. Um, this will prevent. Um, if you let the elbow go behind your back, you can still connect between your partner. I'm pulling through my center, I'm pulling from her, we're pulling toward each other. Um, it'll prevent that kind of connection out to kingdom come. Okay? Just keep your dance stretchy from each other to and from each other and avoid the keep walking kind of stuff. Now we can do the same thing at underarm passes. I go from stretching to, from her to me, a quick underarm, back all the way down to stretching from her to me. Okay? I can take my underarm up and down as quick as possible. It goes up on two, goes down on three, whoop. However fast it goes up, she brings it down. I can make it longer, taking two beats to go up. She knows it's going to take two beats to go down. And of course, you can stretch things. Four beats is halfway, so she gets the eight beat pattern. Okay? Um, so try to bring the hand down to create uh, leverage with each other as opposed to creating um, energy going up somewhere, okay? Because in a slingshot, not slingshot, but a swingy kind of stretchy dance, um, we don't want to shape it like an East Coast Swinger waltz, okay? That does have its time and place, but not in our basics, in our basic connection class. Okay? We had fun. We hope you did too.